up you guys so in today's video I'm going to be showing you some of my January favorites and this is just like a bunch of everything let's just get right into this <laughs> the first thing that I want to show you guys is this perfume from Narciso Rodrigues I don't know if I said that right but that is what I've been using recently. This has been like my ultimate favorite. It smells like flowers and roses and it just, it's like the best scent in the world. If you like any like floral blossom rose perfume, this is definitely a good summer kind of perfume. The second thing that I have recently been loving is the MAC Lip Scrub. I got the sweet vanilla flavor or scent or whatever you want to call it and I have been using this recently because my lips have been getting chapped and everything because of this hot hot weather and probably don't drink enough water so this is what I've been using and it has been a lifesaver it leaves your lips so so soft and you literally cannot go wrong with it i'll be completely honest and it smells amazing i think they do have another three or four other flavors but this was my favorite so then we move on to the next two things that i've recently been actually loving this whole of january so i have wanted to stop using foundation for quite some time now because I feel like my skin has been really good to me in recent times so I didn't want to ruin it by baking myself with foundation and sweating and then getting it all clogged up in my pores and just having breakouts for no reason. I got a BB cream from MAC, it is the Beauty Balm and it has SPF 35. I got the shade medium and that is currently what I am wearing right now so it is actually really good so i definitely recommend this for summer it's lightweight you don't feel like you're draining in a lot of foundation you don't feel like there's so much stuff on your face i personally hate that feeling so this is what i've been using recently and honestly this stuff does wonders i also got a concealer from mac i got the shade nc20 and i say i have no complaints on this stuff this is actually the best concealer i have found for my skin tone because some days if i don't want to wear the bb cream i'll just put some concealer under my eyes and i'm good to go i usually have such problems finding the perfect concealer for my skin tone so i finally found it and i definitely recommend this one it is the pro long way concealer moving on i have now recently just tried a new skincare range so i had a little bit of a bad time with my skin sometime in December hence why I wanted to stop wearing makeup and everything and then my skin got really good so I wanted to start wearing lighter makeup and everything so I decided to invest in a lighter skincare routine let's, let's just say that so I recently got the body shop um, aloe collection kind of thing so I've just got the cleanser which pumps foam the toner and the soothing moisture lotion as well with SPF 15 in it therefore I don't actually have to wear too much sunscreen on my face if I don't need to especially if I'm like indoors most of the time and I'm not going outside then I don't need to actually put on SPF 50 on my face if you know what I mean so definitely this has just been amazing it is so lightweight it smells amazing and I just love aloe vera in general so I definitely recommend this if you have very sensitive dry skin. It does not dry out your skin, but it doesn't make your skin overly oily. That is what I hate about when you buy something for dry skin. It gives you like oily skin and then you just get breakouts and you know the deal. But I actually only use this at night now and yeah, so if you want like an updated skincare routine, let me know <laughs> I'm now just gonna show you some of the accessories I've recently been loving so much so I'm actually wearing it right now it is the C Urton collection from Patrick Mavros 
and I got the one with the pink beads. My mom got me this for Christmas and I think it's just so amazing. It looks so nice and so elegant. Honestly been my favorite. I have not taken the cuff off. Um, the ring I like to use if I'm like going out somewhere fancy and everything. I just think it makes the perfect kind of dressy piece, but it's not so flashy. So I honestly love it. And the pink just suits my aesthetic so much. The next thing that I've recently been loving, I'm sure you guys saw this in my room tour, but it's these sunglasses. I got these from YDE and I hunted for these for like six months because they were going crazy all over Instagram and everything. And I think that they just add so much but not too much to an outfit. I don't know if that makes sense but I just think they're perfect to even just like keep like in your pocket like you know there or have them on your head or something. They're just, they're just such a cute little piece and I think they're so perfect for summer. Because it's been quite rainy where I am but it hasn't been absolutely freezing. I bought this pink kind of turtleneck jacket thing. It's knitted, but it has open holes on the shoulder. So it kind of sits like open shouldered kind of like that. And it is warm, but it's not boiling hot that if it gets kind of sunny, you're overheating it. So this was definitely been my favorite thing to wear throughout the month of Jan. So yeah, it is from Forever 21 and it is just my color because I love this color. So yeah, I've been recently loving this so much. The next things that I've been, I can't even say loving, I can just say that I bloody well adore these, <laughs> is my sock boots. So I got these and to be fair, my mom and I have hunted for a pair of these that don't look sluttish <laughs> for like ages. When I say sluttish, I mean those ones with like the full on stiletto heel and they're like very like, ooh, and like lacy up the front and you get me. So these are just plain normal sock boots and I think they look so amazing. They can look very dressy or you can dress them down, kind of. And I just love the like the silver heel and everything. They just they're just so perfect. I love them so much. And the material is really soft, it's like velvety. Honestly, any excuse I can have to wear these, I'll wear them. Moving on to something a little bit in Tan's kind of area of life as well is my Himalayan salt lamp. So I also got this in Jan and hmm, I love it so much. So I'm not gonna go too into detail about the salt lamp and you know what they're there for and everything, but do just like look it up and pretty sure you'll just find a website if you're interested in knowing what it's for and it's just a lamp so you kind of like switch it on with this little switch and I keep it next to my bedside table if you saw my room tour if you didn't see my room tour maybe go check it out hashtag self promo <laughs> but yeah definitely I've been loving this it's just it's so beautiful and I mean why not I think it just looks so cute the last thing I wanted to show you guys is one of the new purchases to my crystal collection. So I got a blue lace agate. It's a rough piece. Um, it's just the most beautiful color in the world. I haven't actually read up on it. Like I read up on it, but then I wanted it so long ago that I forgot what it's like, what its properties are. Then again, just go search it up and you'll figure it out. But it's such a cute little piece, like honestly, and the blue is just so vibrant and it's just so cute and amazing. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite crystals to have during January. 
thank you guys for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it and liked to see all my kind of january favorites things i've been loving this month i'm going to be doing this every month so let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving this video a like leave some video suggestions and stuff down below trust me i do read your comments and i am putting together like this plan and stuff of what i want to post and everything so you guys are definitely helping so don't stop commenting what you want to see even dm me if you don't want to comment down below that is fine i'll see you guys next week bye